In this video, we're going to provide an overview of how we can use Tekton to materialize data, both to and from Databricks, and make the resulting features available for model training and prediction. In this example, our data will come from a Parquet file hosted on Databricks. Tekton will automatically orchestrate a feature pipeline that serves data to training models and models in production to power real-time ML applications, like fraud detection, recommendation systems, or dynamic pricing. Before getting started, we'll need to make sure that we have the latest version of the Tekton CLI. In a terminal window, we can run the command pip install Tekton PySpark. Once the installation is complete, we'll need to log in to Tekton by running the command Tekton login. This will redirect us to the Tekton web UI where we can verify our credentials. In Tekton, workspaces are environments that manage collections of feature pipelines and services. We can create our workspace by running the command Tekton Workspace Create Tutorial Workspace. In Tekton, features are defined declaratively in Python files that are commonly backed up by a Git repository. To begin developing our feature pipeline, we can create a new repository by running the command Tekton init to initialize the repo. In our code editor of choice, we can create a new file and name it repo.py. In Tekton, Data sources allow us to connect to our existing data platforms, such as Databricks. To accomplish this, we'll need to create a new batch data source in our Python file. The file config function determines precisely how Tekton will ingest data from Databricks. In this example, we're interested in modeling customer behavior. We can configure this by defining an entity. In Tekton, entities can refer to products, users, transactions, or any other business objects that we might want to include in our features. Entities are uniquely identified as a join key, which typically maps to a primary key from their original data source. They will eventually allow us to merge data from disparate sources, allowing joins to occur between different Parquet files or between our Databricks source and a data source outside of our warehouse, such as a data stream. In Tekton, feature views describe the transformations that we apply to our data from Databricks or other sources. Here, we're creating a feature view called Transaction Location. The at batch feature view decorator determines data configurations, aggregations, transformations, and metadata that we'll need to successfully use this feature view. We can also tell Tekton where we want to store our feature views. By setting offline equals true, Tekton will materialize the resulting transformations in offline store tables in Databricks to generate training data sets. Setting online equals true will push feature views to an online store for low latency high throughput retrieval at serving time. The Python function definition allows us to write SQL code to extract data from our data sources at each materialization interval. Our last step is to define a feature service. In Tekton, feature services group related feature views together so that they can be accessed with a single API call. We've now built a complete feature serving pipeline, but before we can actually access our data, we'll need to return to our terminal window and run the command Tekton apply. Doing so will push all of the changes in our repo to Tekton and begin the materialization process that will generate and update our feature views. We can view our newly defined Tekton objects in the Tekton web UI. First, we'll need to find our workspace from the workspace selector dropdown. Next, we can make sure that our data source is available by navigating to data sources on the left. The same applies for entities, feature views, and our feature service. We can also check in on the serving status for our new feature service as well as the status for individual materialization jobs. Once our data has been materialized, our live models can use simple curl requests to fetch feature vectors from the online store at very low latency. And we can also write Python scripts to fetch historical data from the offline store for model training. In just a few minutes, we've created our first feature pipeline using Tekton. In the future, we can use the same general pattern whenever we're creating feature pipelines in Tekton. We'll use the Tekton CLI to manage changes to our repo, We'll define our feature pipelines using Python, and we'll use Tekton's web UI to check the status and progress of our feature pipeline.